Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode and today we're going to take a look at some Porsches and uh, we're going to start, there's some oddball Porsche casting, some of these are older, um, including this one, this is a the 911 Porsche Carrera, uh, this one, I've got four versions of it to look at, it's an odd casting, uh, mostly it's odd because it was a Corgi tooling initially. That's where the base looks a little bit weird. It was a, uh, kind of a casting over bar or whatever of Hot Wheels where it used to say Corgi. So pretty interesting. Uh, this casting debuted in 1996 with an FAO Schwartz set. And then it was used a few times, like in a 96 five pack. It was used in the main line a couple times, like 98, 99, 2000, 2002, 2003. Then it was a final run. They did a final run release and then got rid of this and hasn't been seen since. Um, let's go ahead and open up this one. This one, I don't know the dates in these. Uh, I think this one's copyright date 97 on the packaging. This might be the best looking actually of the four I've got to show you. Um, it's a nice metallic red color, gold, five-spoke wheels. It, it, it's a very heavy casting. It's got a metal body and a metal base. There's also like a Targa version, I think, of this casting as well. That's a Corgi that was also released as Hot Wheels. But this is a very, very heavy chunk of metal. It's just kind of out of proportion. It's a little bit larger, or much larger, I think, than 164 scale. And the shaping and stuff like that isn't that great. But I collect pretty much all die-cast Porsches in 164 scale or close to sort of all of them. Um, I know there's a ton out there that I don't have, like the RWB Tarmac stuff and all that. I don't have a bunch of those. But but Hot Wheels-wise, kind of all the toolings, I kind of pick up all of them as I see them if I don't have them. But yeah, so there's this one. Um, we're just going to kind of blow through these. Here's uh, the next one. This one is a copyright date 1998 in the Extreme Speed Series Porsche Carrera. Mm, is it Dirt Bike Team? This one's on the Dirt Bike Team. I don't know <laughs> what or why. Extreme Dirt Bike Team. Again, Metal Base. This one's silver. Some wacky graphics on the side. You can see like a casting line right here too. Um, yeah, I mean, not really much to say about this one. It's uh, not a very attractive car, I guess. Um, they were doing some wacky stuff in this era, so that that qualifies. Here's another one in blue. Uh, copyright date on this packaging is 1999, so this is probably released in 2000, I'm guessing. It's got those ugly tri-blade wheels. Let's take, a, I guess, a closer look at it. Not much for graphics on this one, just Hot Wheels logo on that side. And on the flip side, white interior, nice metallic blue color. Uh, that's one positive I can say about it. And, of course, metal and metal, and it's heavy. That's kind of cool, too. The, the wheels, though, you know, leave a lot to be desired for most people, including me. And the casting itself kind of just isn't that great. Uh, no detail in the front, no detail on the rear. Just those two little Hot Wheels stamps. And that is all you get for that one, which is basically all you got for this one, too. Actually, that, you only got the Hot Wheels stamp on one side. I don't think that's an error. I think that's intentional. So... Not much there. Oh, I just realized something on this one. Look at that. So this one, I guess you would consider it an error, maybe? I don't know. The axle's bent on the back. Uh, I guess I could probably fix that. And I don't know if I'm going to even bother, but uh, yeah. Weird. And then lastly, for this casting, we've got this 911 from... 2001 okay so this must be the last so this probably came out the 2002 mainline so this is probably the last uh, one before the final run i think i do have the final run somewhere oh we can peel and win should we peel and win can we win some yeah. oh we got to put the code at planethotwheels.com something tells me that's probably not gonna be valid anymore this one's got because of the peel and win it's got extra plastic. 
I wonder how many winners are stuck in packages. Because of you people not opening your cars. Uh, this one's got the most, well, besides that dirt bike one, kind of most like surface graphics here. We got the, some weird flamage on the side. And then on this side, we got the weird flamage and a Hot Wheels logo. And then on the front, we actually got a nice, pretty nice looking Tampa Porsche logo. I'm not sure if that's a requirement of the licensing now, but I think a lot of the Porsches do have the Porsche logo on the car, I think, these days. Am I thinking that right? This one also has a painted base. It's not just a raw metal uh, Zamac base. This one's actually painted silver. And the body color is sort of a metallic um, blue. And again, those tri-blade wheels that are just whatever. Alright, so we're done with this casting. I took up four of the cars, though. Apologize about that. It's not bad. It's just not not great. All right. So this one is this one. This version of this car we're gonna look at. It's not that great either. But the casting itself is kind of cool, and it dates all the way back to the 70s. So it was 1975, I think, when this casting first came out. It had a bunch of different variations. I'm not gonna go through everything. Um, it was also frequently used in the 90s, I think, and it was final run or had a final run release in 2001. I think I have that one in my collection, too. Um, but this one that we're looking at here was from 1997, I believe. And the copyright date is 1997, anyway. So it could be 98. Uh, but here it is. So it's a classic Porsche casting, the P911. So there are some, quite a few versions of this car out there. This one is a very, very basic. You just have the metal base, metal body, and a Hot Wheels logo on the front of the vehicle. And that is it. That is all you get. So this casting is no longer. You will never see another one made again unless they, for some reason, retool it. Which, there really is no reason for them to retool it because we have so many other cool Porsches now. Um, that there's just, this would not, there's just really no reason for it. classic p911 casting so there's some cool there are some definitely some cool variations of this car this just is not one of them uh being just a plain red with these like whatever the saw blade wheels maybe these are called the tri-blade wheels i don't know whatever they ugly and i ain't a fan of them but you know this is just hot wheels of that time these wheels were put on a lot of cars and i don't know i don't know if anybody ever thought they were cool <laughs> at least i didn't I never, I never thought they were cool, even, you know, when I was a little younger. All right, um, what is next? The 96, uh, yeah, let's do, yeah, whatever. So just in comparison, so we looked at a couple of older Porsches, right? So we got this one, we got the Corgi tooling, and then here's what we're working with now. Like, this is a newer casting, the 96 Porsche Carrera. Uh, this particular one in black that you're looking at is from this year, 2020. Um, it's been released twice in the mainline 2019 and then now it's been released twice in the mainline 2020 uh, the other version of this right now is yellow with black wheels and it looks pretty awesome so this is the black one real basic but really good and this is why hot wheels is i think you know stylistically a bit better today um, they're just making more uh some more realistic looking uh, toolings and maybe that's because the technology has come along and stuff like that the way they get to do it is a lot different it's 3d print models and stuff like that so but this is an awesome little porsche tooling i like it a lot it's got headlights it's got the little porsche logo in the front and it's got taillights so it's nice and basic there's no wacky graphics on it there's nothing this is like timeless right this will always be a good looking car um there's nothing on it that would be stylistically okay today and not okay, you know, years from now, as far as I'm concerned. Unlike something like this or, you know, something like this. Maybe these were never even cool when they came out, but I don't know. They're sure as heck not cool now, um, as far as I'm concerned. You guys may have completely differing opinions, but I think they look pretty cheesy. Uh, these, This thing looks pretty good. So, just an awesome, well-proportioned car. 
awesome designed uh, vehicle and uh, I'm definitely digging it so nice basic that's a really good basic model uh, big fan of that one all right uh, next let's do another more modern release there is the Porsche 917 LH now this is probably the ugliest version of it to come out so far um, it did debut in 2018 was in the mainline twice in golf livery which looked awesome in the 2019 mainline it also got some racing livery I think it was released in red and blue and then this is a 2020 release with this kind of like tribal-ish I don't know weird graphic uh, maybe there is a car out there that's got this actual graphic. I don't know. I don't know, but it's not really great looking as far as I'm concerned. The tooling itself is awesome. I like it quite a bit. It's a great mainline Porsche tooling. Um, I love the fact that it's got the sort of lens detail for uh, the inserted detail for headlights, which is part of the glass for the interior piece. There's a great use of that. I like when Hot Wheels does that, and I think they do it quite often on Porsches. Um, but this one looks pretty good, and the color combo, I'm not a huge fan of, like I said, but the casting itself is nice, and... You know, that's pretty much all I can say about it. But this is probably the worst variation of it so far. The rest of them, I think, look a lot better than this one. Just less busy graphics and all that all that stuff. All right. Um, next up, we go back to old school. Uh, this one here is the Porsche 930. Now, this one has enjoyed several releases. This is definitely not one of the better ones. This is from uh, the Rockin' Rods series. Uh, copyright date 1996 I think it came out in 97 uh, the casting itself debuted in 91 and it's had a bunch of different colors a bunch of different stuff it's been released in five packs it's been released um, in like play sets I think even too and then this car last was released in 20 uh, 2001 in a five pack and then it was retooled in 2012 for the Hot One series, and then also showed up at the Target Retro Style series. Now, I like this um, casting. I think this is a pretty good, well-proportioned um, little Porsche 911. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm glad they retooled it. I'd like to see some more variations. I'd like to see it show up again, but I think it it still only has a metal base. I think even the, the recent retooling of it, a relatively recent retooling has a metal base. Um, but this is a nice one. I actually like, I mean, not this particular one. The graphics on this one are silly. Yeah, it's metal though. That's cool. Rock and roll. Metal. It's made of metal. It's heavy metal. 164. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the graphics are terrible on it, but there are some good versions of this, of this tooling. Um, this might be a tooling I end up trying to get all the different variations of. I think it would be kind of a fun one to collect. Um, so I may try to go after those. But not much to say about this particular variation. It's, you know, kind of barfy. But I think there was a, quite a few of this car that came out that came out with some wacky graphics and just some silliness. All right, so that's that one. Moving on, we're going to go to another older tooling. This is a Porsche 928. This one's a pretty old tooling. Uh, this particular variation that we're looking at is from 2001. Go ahead and open it up. It's not a bad tooling. I think it's pretty nice, actually. Uh, it debuted in 1981, and it had a lot of different variations throughout the 80s. Um, it was in five packs and stuff, all sorts of stuff. Um, this car doesn't is not going to be made anymore. It was uh, last seen in 2001 mainline, and then it was, um, which is this one here, and then it was, after that it was a final run release, and that was it. So then we're done. I don't think this car has an interior. I don't think it ever did. Um, it's got blacked out windows. Not a big deal. It's got a metal body, metal base. I do like how the headlights are part of the base. Uh, that is kind of a, a nifty feature. It's not too bad. I mean, it's got the Porsche logo up there. It's got these wacky graphics on the sides, but it does have a kind of a cool, nice green color. 
Uh, this one definitely came out with some wild color schemes throughout the years. And I like the five dot wheels. I think those look pretty good. I don't think they use the five dot wheels on anything anymore. I don't recall seeing them any time recently. I mean, they look great on like Lambos and stuff. So I don't know. Look okay on this Porsche. It's not terrible. I mean, it's an older tooling, but I think it's a pretty neat one. Um, out of the older toolings, definitely this though I think takes the cake for the older toolings. There it is. And then we got this oddball. This kind of doesn't even fit the video, but it's a Porsche Panamera. Um, this is my least favorite Porsche. Is the Panamera? Is it's a four door Porsche? I mean, come on. I guess it's kind of cool, whatever. This one is from 2015. Yeah, 2015. So this tooling um, debuted in 2014 mainline. It was in the 2015 mainline. It's been a multi-pack exclusive, five-pack in 2016. Uh, we saw it in the 2018 mainline, 2019 mainline. It was released in a couple variations. And now for 2020, there's a new Panamera on the scene, um, a new tooling for the Panamera. And I think it's a lot better than this one. Um, it's a different version of the Panamera. But... Uh, I don't know. I mean, this isn't terrible. It's got headlights. It just looks a little... I don't know, something looks a little bit off on it. But, you know, I'm kind of biased because out of all the Porsches that have come out over the years, this particular Panamera, the four-door Porsche, is one of my least favorite Porsches. So, of course, I'm not going to really... I guess dig this a whole ton. And that's going to be it for this uh, 10 Car Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like these videos, just check out the playlist. There's a 10 Car Tuesday playlist, and you can see all of them. Um, you know, we cover a lot of different brands, not just Hot Wheels. So I think it's a fun time. It's kind of a fun little theme video, an excuse for me to start opening my cars. I used to be a carded collector, really. And... Um, when I decided to be a loose collector, I'm like, well, I need to film opening all these, and how am I going to do that? Well, let's do 10 Car Tuesday episodes. And that's how this all started. I don't know how many episodes I've done, but I've done a lot, I think. I mean, I'd say at least over 100, maybe. I don't know. Check the playlist. I'll probably tell you. But, uh, yeah. I think out of this episode, okay, tooling-wise, I mean, modern tooling, that's the best one. And that's probably the best one, really the best looking car in the episode. Um, old school tooling, definitely this one. Although the car is pretty ugly because of the graphics. Uh, out of all the older graphics, this might be my favorite, actually. I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, thank you very much for watching. You guys enjoy your day.